Hi friends, it's me Nikki here. I hope you all are doing great. And today I'm excited to share with you my fall tips to inspire those senses in your home. Those things like your sight and your sound and your smell. Those things that really kind of get us in the mood for fall. I wanna take you around my home and show you how I have done this. And let's start with sight. Now, as far as sight, I love having candy bars because when you walk in my home during the, during the fall, I think it's so nice to walk right in and see this just beautiful candy bar that you can indulge in. And I have done a video a couple years ago on how to do a candy bar using making different containers. But I wanna show you this fall how to make a concise one that's very simple and you can make it budget friendly because it's using tear trays, just basically taking a variety of candies and putting them on a tear tray. It gives a great look and give you that kind of candy-esque bar feel without having to have to feel a lot of different containers. So this would be a great way to have a candy bar in your home. And you can find these tear trays everywhere, Tuesday morning, Michael's Home Goods, and they're very affordable these days. You can find them between $10, $12, $15, and they have them in things for the fall. They have them in gold and silver. You can get them in glass, and that's the great thing about them. You can get a tear tray that fits your style, or you can do a DIY and make one yourself. However you choose, this is really a great concept and a way to have that candy bar. So once you get your tray, you simply just go get a couple bags of the variety of candies that you like. I love having this for when my friend girls come over and we're having coffee, they can take a piece of chocolate, put it in their coffee if you like. As they're coming in, they can grab a piece or when they're walking out. It's just a fun fall thing to have and it's just a beautiful thing to see every time you walk past it. So I definitely enjoyed putting another candy bar in my house this year, but I love being able to do it kind of on a smaller scale and not having all of those jars that I have to fill up. Okay, friends, so now let's talk about that sense of smell. This is huge for our home for fall. And the way I did it this year is with my cleaning products. You all know I have Miss Myers in my home, but Miss Myers has come out with fall scented cleaning products that smell absolutely delicious. They're limited edition and they are wonderful. And a great thing about this is you can simply update your cleaning caddy and with these fall scented cleaning products. So as you're cleaning your home, you're automatically putting that fall smell and scents around your home home so you're knocking out two birds with one stone and so they have like I said the mom scent which is delicious and the apple cider scent which is delicious so you can't go wrong with either one but you all know and you've done this for about over a year so I have all of my cleaning products sent to me every month from the Grove Collaborative and what they do is they have a website wonderful website with all of these different um, cleaning products cleaning supplies and this is where this came from and you go there you order your products and they are sent to you you kind of choose what you want sent to you you can change it every month however you want but it's automatically sent to you and the reason why I'm a customer and why I love it is because I don't have to think about cleaning products. You know, they're just sent to me every month. I can go in there and change if I want to switch something out before it's shipped out, I can do that. But it's just the convenience of it. And they have such a great site. They're such a great company and they give back because they actually are going to, for all of my viewers, they're going to if you sign up with the Grove Collaborative, they're going to pick 10 of you. They're going to donate $100 for each one of the 10 in your name to the American Red Cross for Hurricane Matthew. And I thought that that was so special. And a quick note, you have been asking about these sponges. I've been getting questions about them and they actually come from the Grove Collaborative. So if you like those sponges that you're always asking about, that's where they come from, along with my glass cleaner. This is not the one that I use to clean my drinking glasses. I do have one by my kitchen sink, but as you can see here, I also have one in my cleaning caddy that I use to clean my glass because it works wonderfully for that. And I actually have them send me one every month now because I'm gonna use them as stocking stuffers. And just on a quick note, just to share some other things in my cleaning caddy, I use the baking soda cream. This is really a nice product for cleaning your bathrooms and things like that. And if you've been with me a while, you know I have my cleaning toothbrushes. I take simple toothbrushes, I label them and use toothbrush holders, and I use them to clean my home, those kind of spots that need detail, and they work great. I've been doing this for years. And so what I do is I basically have them labeled for the things and uses so I don't cross use brushes. Like I have one that I use for all my, like a light switch, um, things to get all the dust out of that one for the detail spaces in my bathroom because sometimes it's hard to get behind that sink and get all that crud and stuff out works great and then I have one for my decor so that I can knock the dust off and I don't damage my like plants and things like that 
Friends, if you want to check out these products, definitely check out the Grove Collaborative. I'll put the link in the description box below. Don't be slow about getting the fall scents because they're limited edition. And you guys know how this is. If you go to Target or anywhere, the limited edition, they sell out fast. So definitely go check it out. Um, I am over the moon happy with it. And I am sure you will be also. So let's move on to that next sensory. The sense of taste. And of course you can say, oh, the candy bar is a sense of taste too, and it is. But what I thought about when I was kind of wanting to incorporate all of the five senses into my home was updating my candy bar for the fall. And just by doing these simple touches, it really gave a fall feel to my coffee bar. And what you can do is simply just, if you don't have a coffee bar designated for your coffee station, where your coffee machine is, you can just add little touches, a little basket with a few little fall inspired kind of flavors would be great. Now I updated my flavors here and I added some kind of fall flavors like the pumpkin spice and the tiramisu, those warm flavors for the fall. In my tea box, I added some pumpkin spice tea, some cinnamon, vanilla, and cranberry pomegranate teas things that are nice for the fall. Simple fixes, but really add a lot to your home when you're kind of at home and you want those flavors or you have guests over, it's just really a nice touch. Now, another thing I did to kind of update my coffee bar for the fall, and again, let me do say, you don't have to have a coffee bar to do this. If you just buy your coffee maker, you can add these things, it, it, it totally works. Or wherever you keep your teas, just kind of change them out. But in this drawer here, I keep kind of my spoons and my different coffee accessories and coffee tea bag, I mean tea bag holders and things like that the only thing I did was I added I usually have white napkins in here and I just added these kind of pumpkin inspired napkins I thought that that was really cute and I can't remember I think I got those from like TJ Maxx or something like that but you can find these all over but you can always sit some I, you know I did change out my sugar container here but you can always just take some salt and pepper shakers which that's what these are here add cocoa in one cinnamon in one and sit it by your coffee maker or sit it by your coffee bar and it's a great touch did not do a lot of fall decor simple pumpkin here or there but when you put it all together it really gives you a really great feel for fall and I have all of those flavors and tastes right there to enjoy for the fall season now another thing that I did on my coffee bar was you know I always like to keep pastries here now these pastries I just picked up you know randomly from the, from the grocery store but you don't have to do that you can bake them if you like but always keeping some kind of fresh baked goods out is always great. I always keep biscotti out for coffee. You know, these are kind of those warm accents that you can have year round, but they're extra special around the fall and you can get fall inspired flavors. In my coffee drawer, I updated my coffee to kind of pumpkin latte and toasted coconut. And I do have regular coffee in there also, but just kind of by adding these little touches of fall, it really allows my guests and myself to be able to come in the morning and get those flavors that really bring us into the season. And then after I set up my coffee bar the other day, my friend sent me this vanilla almond coffee, which I'm so excited to taste. So I'm going to add this into my coffee bar and maybe move one of the regular coffees out and I keep some stored below. Now the sense of touch was easy for me. I just simply use throws. Putting throws around your house brings in that fall warm feeling. You know that it's fall time. You know that the winter is coming. And this is a throw that I had in my bedroom. I bought it downstairs for the fall because I just wanted something simple to kind of take my home from that spring summery to the warm fall. And a throw kind of does that for me. Now you can get those in that color of the warm fall colors if you want. You can get pillows that are more fall inspired if you like. But I found that this is an economical basically free because I had it already way to bring that feel of touch because when you're sitting on the sofa now I can grab this nice throw and it's cozy if the fire's going if I'm having my cup of tea and it really is just a great way to bring a nice fall touch to your home not spend any money or spend minimal money and then there's that sense of sound. And how you can bring that in your home is by those wood wick candles. You can find wood wick candles everywhere. They're basically candles that have a wood wick. And that's key. The wood wick is key because that's going to give a crackling sound. So when you burn this candle, it's going to sound like you know wood is crackling in the fireplace. So if you live in an apartment that doesn't have a fireplace or a home doesn't have a fireplace, then this is a great way to give that sound and that warm fall feeling in your home. You can find them totally everywhere. And I'll put some links below if you're interested in that but also if you want a more cleaner kind of candle burn a lot of people like burning soy candles the grove collaborative actually have 
some soy candles on their site. So again, the link is below. This is one that I think I got month before last or last month. It's the blood orange and I'm really attracted to it. And it just really is a nice burn. I actually keep it in my kitchen and I burn it in my kitchen, but they have a nice clean burn and I love the blood orange. So the Grove Collaborative, they also have the candles. So definitely check those out. I hope you all have really enjoyed my sharing today with you. If you want to know kind of what's going on in my personal life, I have some things that are going on and I've shared that on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. So if you know if I'm kind of quiet, if you go over there, I'm at home with Nikki on everything you can kind of see what's going on with me and see why I have been quiet the last couple of days but um, things are, are going pretty good um, also I have my blog at home with Nikki definitely check me out I hope you all are doing great I thank you for watching I love you I miss you and have a beautiful and blessed day my friends and this is Nikki saying goodbye